Hi. So last week, your art assignment was to create fireworks using shaving foam and um, food coloring. I almost forgot what you had to use. And I said to create a couple papers because you're always going to like one a little bit better than the other. Now this project that we're going to do is going to go on top of your firework background. And this lesson is actually a review. This was the project that we were working on right before our quarantine. And this is kirigami, not origami, kirigami. And the difference being is that in kirigami, you can use scissors. So we're going to be making a kirigami star, a star that looks three-dimensional. So we're going to start with our square, and hopefully you remember how to make that square piece of paper. So I'm going to take my square, and I'm going to fold it point to point. And you're probably going to make a couple of these because, again, like anything, you're going to have some that come out really good and some not so good. So I've made a nice crease, and you can already see I'm a little bit offline, but I'm going to go with it anyways. So now I'm going to take this point, and just for the camera, I'm going to show you. I'm going to take this point, and I'm going to line it up somewhere about here, right by my finger there. And I'm going to set it there. I'm not going to let the point go extend past that. So now this is the bubble. I want to make sure that bubble is going to flatten out nice, which it does. And this is what it looks like. So this is the closed side, and this is the open side of the paper. That's really important because if you do it another way, you're going to find that your paper falls apart when it comes to the cutting. All right, so now I'm going to take, you see this triangle here? I'm going to fold it right along this line. So I'm going to take this, and I have to be careful not to fold this paper. So I'm going to come up and fold that right along there. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to take this point and line it up on this point. So I'm going to turn it. I'm going to take this point and it's going to come all the way over here. So your paper is getting thicker now with all this folding. And I want to make sure that my line, those lines match up. And because you're folding so many layers of paper here, sometimes you can see at the bottom here, my paper didn't want to be very cooperative. I just kind of flattened it out. All right. So we're in the home stretch of the star. So there's this point, and then there's this whole long line here. I want to go somewhere in the middle, probably about, I'm going to go about down here. Okay. And then I think it helps to draw a line. Actually, maybe I'm going to make this go a little bit deeper here, like that. So I'm going to make a line from this point here. So you get an idea of where I'm cutting. OK, so get my scissors, hold this, and then I'm going to cut. And the paper, you got to really hold it, like where I'm holding up here, because the paper likes to shift. All right, let's open it up. Oh. And voila. Now you're going to notice that when you sh move this around, that one way looks better than the other. All right, so after you have this step, you can take a permanent marker or a black crayon, and you are going to outline. I've already done mine. So here's mine outlined. And then because this is a patriotic art project, you're going to create patriotic designs in each slot. Now, it doesn't mean um, everything has to be stars or stripes, but you're going to make a pattern and then color it in using red, white, and blue. So I'm not going to finish mine for you because I think you get the idea. Now the one thing here is making this pop out. So you're going to start, this is a mountain. Mountains 
are going to stand up. And this little line, these are valleys. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to take this mountain pose and I'm going to crease it really good. And this is a valley, so I'm going to put that in. And this is a mountain. This is supposed to be a, a valley. And this is supposed to be a mountain and a valley. And you go all the way around until you have creased that star. Now, let's see, I'll bring back my paper and then I can put this into my fireworks painting. You obviously don't want to flatten it. You're just going to put a little dab of glue right on the back of each point and then just gently press that down and you have a pretty amazing piece of art. All right, I can't wait to see what you do. Please send me a picture of you with your artwork so you can be part of our virtual art show coming up in June. Can't wait to see your work. Bye.